our YouTube channel, Zimo, Online, and Fun! Today, we're we going to be opening my black bomb making lab. lab. So, we're going to be making that bomb. I'm so excited. This looks so fun, you guys. Hmm. I wonder how we're going to make bath bombs. Oh. Well, let's get started. Ooh, this looks so fun. I'm so excited. Wow, so many things. This is the extraction, and this is a container. Here we have some measuring cups, some droppers, spoons, and a container. Ooh. We have some food colorings and some scents as well. We can Ooh, I wonder what scents they are. We got the color. We have the colors red, yellow, and blue. We can make different colors mixing them because they're the primary colors. Oh, maybe we can make green bath bombs. Here we have some baking soda Ooh. and corn flour. Ooh, fun. Ooh. With some citric acid. Let's get started. Okay guys, we can do five different experiments with these ingredients. Ooh. We can make colorful and scented bath bombs, multicolored bath bombs, baking soda face mask, scented and colored body scrub, and a fizzy sherbet. I wonder what's that. First, let's try making the colorful and scented bath Bombs. Okay guys, to make a colorful and scented bath bombs, first we have taken the dry ingredients. Inside the bowl we have 1 teaspoon of corn flour. In here we have 10 ml of baking soda. In this small, in this small bowl over here we have 1 teaspoon of salt. Now I'm always going to mix them all together. He's going to pour the 1 tablespoon of salt. Pour the whole thing, then she's going to add the baking soda. And after that, she's going to mix it nicely. Now the dry ingredients are mixed, and now we're going to add one ml of water. I wonder how our bath bombs are going to look. It's time to mix. guys now we're going to be adding 1 ml of cosmetic coloring of our choice we picked red so we're going to be adding red okay put it in now we have to mix it after mixing so well we have achieved this pretty pink color it's so beautiful. it looks so pretty it looks like cotton candy oh yum now we're going to add the scent. We picked the orange scent. We're going to add five drops of the orange scent. One, two, three, four, five. The scent is so good, guys. It smells like real oranges. Because we picked orange scent. It smells super, super good. Mm, I would love to take a bath in this. Let's add them. Mix it in all. Oh, yeah. It looks like sugar. You're making cotton candy. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, guys, after mixing in the citric acid, we're going to pour the bath bomb mixture into this container. It has an elephant. <laughs> now we're going to close this and keep it overnight so then we're going to be doing the next one Boom. okay guys now for the second experiment multicolored and scented bath bombs we have already made the mixture and divided it in two because we are going to be making two different colors with two different scents so the color i'm going to be making is orange 
Elmo's going to be making purple. She's going to be using the yes. orange scent. And I'm going to be using, I don't know which scent this is because it doesn't have a label. But the colors we are going to be using to make the colors we want. Elmo's going to be using red and blue. And I'm going to be using red and yellow. You and me today are late. Come away, I will. So let's get started. Lots of stuff. Okay, then with mine. We're done adding our scent. Mine is strawberry, I just found out. And mine is orange skin. I didn't <laughs> know it yet. Now we're going to be doing our colors. Okay, these are mine. <laughs> <laughs> Look guys, I can you see, see our pretty see. colors? This is my outstanding orange. And this is my pretty light purple. So, which one smells. do you like the most? Mine smells so good. Mine smells like strawberries. And now we're going to add our citric acid. Okay guys, since they provided only one uh, container to make a bath bomb, we're using our own Play-Doh container that we have. So, I'm almost going to pour her mixture in first, and then I'm going to add that. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, now that we have added almost purple color, mm -hmm. now we're going to be adding my peachy orange. Now I've put my peachy orange. Now we're going to close it and set it overnight. And we're going to see it tomorrow with the other bath bomb. Okay guys, we've kept our bath bombs overnight and now it's time to see them. I wonder how they look. Okay, I'm going to open the pink one. I'll open the pink. I think it's going to be easy. Oh, ooh, you didn't even need the spoon. Easy. Whoa. I did notice my bath bomb mixture was a bit too watery, so maybe that was the thing because it's still really crumbly. But wow! Look at the multicolor. You can see the purple and the pink. Mine is I'm gonna show the pink. I'm gonna show the pink. So the pink is hard, but it's some crumbs are falling down. It's okay. Um, Whoa, guys, I didn't know that they were going to turn out so nice. So powdery. <laughs> they feel good. They smell so Ooh, good. Oh, guys, this smells like soap. <laughs> <laughs> it, smells mm. like, it smells like soap. And the other one. Yeah, if we put them all together. Whoa. <laughs> this is like the cupcake banner and on top there oh, is the cupcake. It smells disgusting when you put them together. <laughs> I'm going to be careful, they're breaking. Ah. Okay guys, time to put them in the water. Okay guys, it's experiment time. Let's see, Let's see how they fit. Which one do you want to do first, Amo? Hmm. This one. Okay, let's put it in. I guess we have to wait a little. Oh, look at those tiny bubbles. The water is turning pink, you guys. Ah, it's so powdery. Let's. This is so. This smells so good. I can smell it from here. I can smell it. Mm. Oh, the water is turning a light pink. That's it. I want to take it out and see what it looks like. Oh my, Oy. it's just crumbling. Oh my. Okay, now this looks weird. Let's just put it back in the water. <laughs> okay guys, we're letting the pink one fizz over there and we're going to try a different technique of putting the bath bomb in the water, but we're not putting it. We're gonna pour the water on top of the bath bomb. So yeah, I'm excited. Oh my. I'm slowly gonna pour it. Ah. <laughs> Whoa, guys, can you hear that? It's fizzing so fast. 
It feels faster than the other. No, really. And mm. you can hear the water leaking through my hands. I like a water fountain though. I wonder what the color of the water is going to be at can the I end. Can I do it? Can I do it? Okay, pour some water. Slowly, okay? I'll try it. Well, it looks like crystals now. Ah, it broke. <laughs> From the upside, it looks so cool. This looks like coral, guys. Let's yeah. put it in the water now. Oh, it's so pretty. The water is like a purplish pink, you guys. It looks like a dick. How does it smell? Mm. I love this. Okay, guys. This is how the water looked after the bath bomb had dissolved. This is the pink bath bomb, the pink cotton candy, and that is the perfect orange and purple. Yeah, it looks so pretty, the purple. Which one smells better? Can I smell that one? Yeah. Let me! Okay, your turn. In my opinion, ah, I like oh. this one. I like both of them. They both smell really good. I like it both of them. We enjoyed making the bath bombs a lot, but we, they didn't pick this as much as we expected them to. But at least it's better than buying bath bombs from the shop. Pamela, what did you think of this kit? So the bath bombs, I, I love them. The pink ones, they're not good, but they don't fit so much. These are the purple ones, right? Yeah, but we still enjoy it a lot, right, Emma? Yep. You had fun making this, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's all for our video. Really hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Hope you liked, shared, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.